This here is the original Oculus Quest travel case from Oculus and it's going to set you back $40 or 45 euros in Euroland. Now in this video, I'm going to check it out and tell you if it's worth it or not. And I'm going to compare it with the Navitech with, with this case here that I had reviewed in this video. And all of this goodness is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if this is your first time here, and if you're just as excited about the Oculus Quest, VR in general, and if you appreciate independent reviews, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. This is the official Oculus Quest travel case from Oculus, which is going to set you back $40 if you're in the States or 45 euros if you are in Europe. But it's not easy to get your hands on it. It's sold out everywhere and I bought mine at Amazon, but it didn't actually come from Amazon. It would have been shipped like in a month or so. And today I was in a brick and mortar store and I saw it. I canceled my Amazon order and now I got it and now I can check it out for you. Yeah, so 45 euros or $40, it's quite expensive for such a case. And well, just recently I had reviewed well, let me get it. <laughs> here it is, this here, the Navitech. And uh, well, this is quite cool for 20, 20 euros or 25 bucks US. Bucks US, can you say that? <laughs> $25. So let's check this out. Let's check if everything fits into it and how much space there's left for other things perhaps. And well, then I'm going to let you know what I think of it. So let's get into it. This is the travel case. This is the Oculus Quest. These are the controllers and the cable and power adapter, which I all want to put into the travel case. So let's see if that fits. But first, let's have a look at the case itself. So we have the Oculus logo here in the bottom. And overall, this looks like a very well built case as what the quality is concerned and the build quality really really nice and it's kind of small right it's kind of small and you wouldn't believe that actually the oculus quest can fit into it and have a look at this here there seems to be a special compartment actually for your adapter for your cable and for your power adapter so i'm definitely going to try this out in a moment and here we even have like a little manual nice so let's try this out now. Let's put in the cable and the power adapter. And here it is. And going to put it inside into a little compartment and it doesn't fit. <laughs> and the reason is it seems like you cannot just put the cable around it like a normal person would do. Yeah, like in like, okay, let's quickly put this around there. No, you need to put in the power adapter like this and then you have to roll it up nicely just like you found the cable in the first place and honestly speaking i don't think that is how people would normally roll their cable but well that's how you gotta do it with this case so then you would try to roll it up like this and then then actually it can fit but really honestly speaking it is a bit more complicated and well that is definitely one of the big disadvantages of this very sleek case well now you know it all right next thing the controllers they fit in here into these compartments but also actually you have to do a little bit of a trick you have to put the handle into the ring of the other controller so that it fits. So they are using here some tricks to make it actually happen. Let's say it like this, the space is used really efficiently. And now the start of the show, the Oculus Quest. Bring it in, here it is. And yeah, of course it fits perfectly into the travel case and that is nice. Look at this fits very snugly there and of course we can now close it and it will fit nicely however if you probably did the oculus quest deluxe audio strap mod 
then it will not fit anymore. Of course, this is really only made for the original Oculus Quest. So now the direct comparison with the Navitech case that I showed you here on the channel last week. The Navitech case again $25 or 20 euros in Euroland and well using the original box that the Oculus Quest came in to make everything fit and yeah well for sure it's nice so you have more space and uh, yeah you don't have to do any kind of tricks to use the space in the most efficient way. So that part definitely is nicer. Also for the cable and the power adapter and probably a VR cover <laughs> as well. No, probably not. <laughs> you can simply yeah, put it into the extra compartment without having to roll it up perfectly like the cable came in. So. Honestly speaking, it is a bit easier to pack the Navitech case, but it is also much bigger. Yeah, so it is much bigger. If you like the, the small footprint, then you will definitely prefer the original Oculus case. But well, it is double the, the price of the Navitech case. And you cannot simply roll up your cable like a normal person would do, like, or at least me. <laughs> That's how I roll up my cable. You cannot really do that with the Oculus Quest case. And here you would simply, simply put it there. Yeah, that's how you would do it. There you have it. This is the original Oculus Quest travel case for $40 or 45 euros. So is it worth the money? Well, it is for sure very well built, very nice design and it looks very sleek so if you only have the original oculus quest and the controllers and the and the cable you'll be fine everything fits nicely into it and here you even have this little thing which will hold the oculus quest secure in place however there is really not so much space left probably here a bit here is some space left. Probably you can you can still put like a small battery pack, but that's it. Also, what I personally didn't like very much that I couldn't put in the 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 cable and the power adapt adapter as you would normally do it. Just like wrap everything up and put it inside. No, you have to nicely fold it like the way it came. And normally we wouldn't do that, right? So it's a bit. This part is a bit impractical. Also, if you would like like mod your Oculus Quest, like if you do the Franken Quest and put the deluxe audio strap onto it, I don't think this is going to fit anymore because really it's really only made for the original Oculus Quest without tampering with it in any way, right? So yes, so if you only want to bring your original Quest just this and nothing else really then i think it's a very it's a very sleek case and it's going to work but yeah 40 dollars is quite expensive so again here <laughs> this is the navitech case that i showed you in my last video and well once you put in once you put in the this part from the original box this becomes a great case for 25 dollars or 20 euros and you have lots of more space to put things in like for example the cable and the power adapter without like making it look very nice so i really like this one for it's cheaper it's just half the price and uh, yeah it also does the job very well and you also get this here you can carry it just by itself you don't have this with the original oculus quest travel case so yes this is a nice case However, it is a bit on the expensive side and um, there are alternatives that I'm going to show you here on the channel. So I really hope that this was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And of course, please do also click on the bell button. So don't miss any of my upcoming Oculus Quest videos. And now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.